to another video on the Dell XPS 13 9300 uh, developer edition laptop here. Um, I've done some other videos on this in the past. I'll put some links in the description below so you can check them out. But a lot of people gave um, some comments that they were wondering whether or not the Windows Hello with the fingerprint reader or there were performance profiles on the developer edition because this is running uh, Ubuntu and not Windows. So they want to know if that was on, uh, on here um, and working. So I have some good news that the Windows Hello is working. I, um, it is actually pretty easy to set up. So I will give you all the instructions for setting that up. It's really easy, it only takes a few minutes. And then I'll give you an update on the fingerprint reader. And I will also go into the BIOS and show you the performance options you can tweak um, if you're so inclined. And I also wanted to take a moment to thank all the subscribers that helped me get to 100 subscribers. That's quite the milestone for this new channel. Thank you very much. Let's see if we can get to 200 and I hope you enjoy the video. First up is the Windows Hello Facial Authentication for Linux. I'll be using this GitHub project called Howdy. I'll put a link to the project in the description. It only takes a few steps to install and set up, so let's begin. First step is to add the repository for this project. You gotta love that ASCII art. Then press enter to continue. Next step, we do an update. Then we install it. This will download about 129 megabytes. After this operation, 427 megabytes of additional disk space will be used. I'll skip ahead to the next step. For this step, I'm switching over to my phone's camera so you can get a better look at what's going on. This prompt here is asking whether the IR is on. How can you tell? Well, look up your webcam and look for red lights. No red lights are visible, so type N for no. Okay, so now you can see two flashing red lights around the webcam. This means the IR is on, so type Y for yes, then let the rest of the installation continue. After a few minutes, the installation is finished. Next step is to create a face model. Give the model a name, and remember to look at the camera. That's it! We're all done! Let's test it. First test is to run sudo-i to see if the authentication works. It does. Let's move on to the next test. Next test we're going to try is locking the screen and then unlocking it through the facial authentication. I've switched back to my phone's camera so you can see the IR working. And just like that, it works. I'm going to perform that test once more, but this time I'm going to have my face turned away from the camera initially and then come back and see if it unlocks. Turn my head back towards the camera and it works. One last test here for the Windows Hello is to turn off the laptop and boot it back up and try to log in as the same user. That works. All right, so this Howdy project can be used for Windows Hello on Linux. All right, so the next thing I wanted to show you was the BIOS. To enter the BIOS, just press the F2 key during boot, and you'll be presented with this page, the overview page. On this page, you can see information on the battery, processor, memory. None of the values displayed here you can modify. 
Over on the system configuration page, if you scroll down, you can see the enable media card. This is useful. Uh, if you wanted to do a live USB from an SD card, you would enable the third option here, secure digital SD card boot. I used this option when I did my video on Ubuntu 2004 Focal Fossa on this laptop. I'll have a link below in the description if you want to check that out. On to the next uh, page I want to show you is performance. On here you can change the number of cores you're using. Um, obviously right now I have all cores but I suppose if you wanted to test with fewer cores you can do that. Also the Intel Turbo Boost technology, you want that active so you can get a boost of speed in certain times. The option just below this is the Intel Hyper Threading technology, you'll definitely want that. Alright, so moving on to the next page, uh, Power Management, I wanted to show one option that uh, if you're like me, maybe you don't want the laptop turning on when the lid opens. Um, I have a fear of if I'm carrying the laptop or traveling with it, it the lid accidentally uh, opening and the power coming on and just depleting my battery. I've, I've had that happen to my uh, tablet before and it's not a good feeling once you, you try to use it and you're on like 26% battery. Um, so yeah, you can turn that off uh, with this option here. Another page you might be interested in is the virtualization page. So here you want to turn this option on if you want to run a VM on your machine. So that pretty much does it for the BIOS. Um, I was hoping for some more options for performance profiling, be like CPU speed or fan speed, but I uh, was not able to find it here in the BIOS. I was trying to find something similar to what Windows has for performance profiles. So I'm going to go back into the operating system and see if I can find something similar there. After some digging, I found this Dell command configure tool that looks promising. Apparently on Windows there's a GUI available, but for Ubuntu there's just the command line interface, which is fine. However, when trying to use this, I wasn't able to get any additional settings that aren't already available in the BIOS. For example, I tried these several options that would have changed the keyboard backlight color or the video memory size or the system fan speed. Each time it said the option was not available or it cannot be configured. Now there were some options that I could configure, but like I said, those options were already in the BIOS. So pretty disappointing. Um, I'll put links in the description for anyone that wants to take a look. Let me know if you discover anything. Really appreciate it. One last thing I wanted to talk about in this video was the fingerprint reader on the developer edition laptop. Um, so there's some good news and bad news. Uh, bad news is every single tool that I tried on Ubuntu, uh, I couldn't even detect the fingerprint uh, device. So yeah, that, that's a bummer. And this isn't anything new. Doing some uh, research, I, I found uh, posts on this issue dating back at least five years. Um, so it's nothing new with Dell laptops with fingerprint readers on Linux. Uh, apparently they use a proprietary uh, driver from the manufacturer and they don't have one for Linux. So. Um, so yeah, that's, that's not good, but, um, the good news is the Dell website, um, has a, in, in text below the XPS 139300 laptop, uh, developer edition, it does say that the fingerprint reader support will be coming in mid 2020. Um, so that is something that's been there uh, since it was added to the website in February and hopefully that remains true. Now I did contact Dell regarding this uh, support 
and I wanted to see if that mid-2020 was still on track or if it's been delayed as so many things have been delayed this year for obvious reasons um, but the uh, support person could not tell me anything on that so um, they were able to tell me that the BIOS for Ubuntu uh, was updated which I already knew um, but so I, at least they were looking at the right operating system because uh, initially they were telling me about updates on Windows um, I did subscribe to their announcements so I will be notified whenever a updated uh, driver becomes available um, so I will know that as soon as possible and once I know I will let you know with another video um, but that is uh, everything I have for this video I hope it was informative and if you liked it please hit the like button and subscribe so you can not miss a, a future video until next time take care